video on my channel and in today's video we are going to be to be in a tour run through uh, because recently on YouTube I was watching some people do workshop workshop tours and I really like that idea however if you watch my videos you'll probably know that I don't have a workshop so what I decided to do is basically do a tool run through so basically run through all the tool, all the main tools I have I'm not going to go through my whole toolbox toolbox showing you every single piece of equipment I have in there however yeah and uh, I'm sorry that I didn't upload any video for about two weeks now and I'm also sorry that I don't have a project video today today I was was preparing for the big project uh, uh, that's why I didn't upload a video for two weeks because uh, the, today was what was going to be one of my big big bigger videos however uh, as you know not everything goes to, goes like you like it to be and my bandsaw blade just died so yeah it snapped so I can't really cut out anything anything on this project with a handsaw because this is a precision project and uh, handsaws are not really precise so let's get started okay guys just before we get started I just wanted to sh show you what I was gonna build today have on my bandsaw board blade snapped so yeah, I already said that but this is what I was gonna build today just uh, this was a found dock I was gonna build have and everything worked out so yeah I'm gonna be uh, hopefully I'm gonna be making a video on this soon so yeah stay tuned for this and for now a tool run through so just before we start it's, this video might be a little bit shaky because I'm not going to be putting my camera on the tripod uh, because it it can't can't necessarily stand it everywhere. So yeah, let's go. Okay, guys. So first thing that you might have saw saw in um, a couple of my recent videos is my new bandsaw. So this is the Shepard HBS 20 bandsaw and uh, it's it's quite good however I don't know why but uh, I have a little bit of a problem with my blade tracking however I don't have my blade right now on this because when I usually cut uh, I have to slant it a bit a little bit left so it cuts straight maybe that's why it broke I don't know so yeah first tool the bandsaw okay guys so now we're at my toolbox and my toolbox contains like uh, my hand saws, uh, hacksaw, another hacksaw here, and coping saw, another, uh, and other types of things like screwdrivers. Inside they have rasps and files. Uh, yeah, this is my toolbox, and uh, most of the tools in there are from Forge still because this was a starter set from Forge Steel and I just added more and more tools to this toolbox so I have different kinds of brands in there like Stanley, Forge Steel, uh, Rolson and other other tools so yeah that's my toolbox okay co okay coming to the essentials so this is my vice and if I didn't have it I'll probably wouldn't even live without it this is probably the most used tool I most used tool by me so uh, this is also a forged steel vice and I need to say that I like the uh, brand forged steel they always have quality tools for a low price and you, I really noticed that you can't buy them anywhere else except except screw fix uh, in England so maybe you can buy them in in America somewhere however I don't know any stores like that because I don't live there so yeah uh, this is my advice okay guys so more essentials now so basically my cordless drill also one of the most used tools in my workshop so I have a Makita Makita here 
uh, I would really recommend to buy something that's a bigger brand because I had had a like a Chinese Chinese uh, Congress drill and the battery fried fried in the coat in the drill it basically melted the whole handle while I was holding it so I don't recommend buying any cheap uh, cheap stuff uh, so basically this is the Makita uh, this is the full set with two batteries and a charger so I don't know what model it is I might read it so it's the 8391D Makita with hammer drilling. I don't really use it too much, the hammer drill feature, however, it is still useful when I need to uh, drill a hole in the wall to mount something that I built. So that's my cordless drill, and straight away uh, going on to my uh, drill bit set. That's the drill bit set I used. It's the Bosch and it's the, I don't know how much pieces it has, however, it's the really big set from Bosch. So here are all the two drill bits, drill bits. So what I basically have is uh, all the way from countersinks to a drill bit to spade bits to hole saws and uh, bit and screwdriver bits and other stuff so the, uh, I'm missing one of one here just because I took it out and I forgot to put it in uh, the the uh, the whole set comes with this I don't know what model it is because this is a really old Bosch set and I had to refill it with drill bits because uh, some of them gone missing and some of them I snapped so these are the hammer drilling the uh, hammer drilling bits I usually don't use them don't use them uh, because because uh, I really have no use for them they can't uh, they can't drill in wood and they also can't uh, um, uh, the, they can't drill in uh, metal so that's really the ones I use least however uh, my dad uses them and as you see two of them had snapped and I have a two four uh, size four bits size four bits so here it is and here it is uh, I bought this as a replacement because uh, I snapped one of the one of those and I needed another one so I just bought two for for if anything happened to the first one so going on to my metal bits this is basically a whole set of metal bits I don't have the uh, size 3 one I just replaced it with a brad point bit so I bought this separately because all the wood drill bits here they only come in a variety from uh, 10 to 4 so I needed to buy three and as the metal one snapped I could I had a place to put it in so this is where my my 3 millimeter wire point it, bit is and that's probably the one I mostly use because it's the only one that makes a hole suitable for my screws so yeah that's my drill bit set okay guys so going on to some more of my power tools so here I have my uh, oscillating sander, my jigsaw uh, grinder with a sanding belt attachment and a, a grind grinder here so oh uh, three of those are handheld power tools, except this one. Have I don't have it pinned to my uh, table just because uh, I don't use it so often, so I just take it in and out, in and out of, of the place where I keep my tools. So uh, most of my tools I keep in my bedroom. However, some of them I keep in this in this compartment here. Uh, better show you inside. So here's the compartments, it's really dark, but yeah, and there's most of these tools on my dad's, so 
I just keep some of my tools in here, not all of them. So, going back to the power tools, uh, I have my jigsaw here. Uh, that's a really old jigsaw. It's about six years old, I think, and it's a Wix. Next one, and I thought it would be a really crappy jigsaw because it's Wix, it's not some brand like Makita or something. Uh, however, it turned out that Wix tools can be better than the Chinese tools, and they can be also better than the Makita and other. So, yeah, this is my jigsaw, nothing fancy to it. It's 710 watts. I don't know the specs of this because. Yes, and in the set, in the whole set with the jigsaw, I also had an oscillating sander from Wix, and uh, nothing to it, just basically an oscillating sander. Uh, I noticed that when I normally use it in my videos, it, all, uh, it spins out of control because it doesn't have a good grip. However, that's good for me really. It was it came in the set with the jigsaw, so this and this uh, were in the set. And going on to my handheld grinder, so I don't use it uh, at all. I, I would say. Uh, this is like uh, a grind, a Russian grinder or something. I don't know. I don't know what it is really, what brand it is. But yeah, this this one I bought somewhere. I don't even remember where I bought it. But yeah, this is my handheld grinder. I'm going on to my uh, uh, table top grinder. So basically, this is a grinding a combination of grinding wheel and a sanding belt. So this is a park side one. So uh, you can, I think you can only buy it in England, in in England. And it, compare, comparing it to other other grinders with sanding belt attachments, this one was really cheap. I don't remember remember how much it cost. However, it was really worth the price, and it lasts uh, it lasts me a long time. So I have it now about for half a year that I know that's not long however most Chinese tools would probably uh, uh, probably die at this point even though this is some kind of Chinese tool or other I don't know it's not definitely not uh, Makita standards or Diwo or other other uh, this is a good tool so I don't really have anything to say about it because it's just a grinder with a sanding bell attachment. Okay guys, so coming on to the last last but not least tool. Uh my basically pillar drill. This is a, a drill holder. This is basically an electric drill on a pillar drill mount. So uh, this I had recently bought like the grinder and this has really helped me in most of my projects and the uh, drill I have attached on this uh, is also a Wix drill and it also came with the set of the oscillating sander and the jigsaw so uh, this is the the uh, Wix drill, jigsaw and oscillating sander came in the set. There was also a cordless drill, however uh, I had it way before I started making videos. And as you know, uh, cordless drills cordless drills have about a lifetime of about 4 years. This set has 6 years, so it died probably about 3 years ago. So yeah. I don't have the cordless drill in from this set, however I have all the other tools. So this is basically my pillar drill, nothing fancy to it. The stand, pillar and holder for the drill. And basically it works ne nearly as sim it works similar to a normal pillar drill. It works nearly as precisely as a uh, pillar drill have it has some wobble in it so basically it works by pulling the lever down and the pillar drill you would normally have a wheel and three 
three levers coming from it. This one only has one, so it goes down like this. Here. So basically, yeah.